We're at Revision Effects booth with Pete, and you may be familiar with them from with uh, Twixter and also Real Smart Motion Blur. Now, there's something new like in the past year that you've added to those. Uh, what was that that you've added to that? Absolutely, we've, we've been adding GPU support slowly to many of our plugins, which includes yeah. Twixter and Real Smart Motion Blur, so they go up quite a bit faster. Yeah. Denoise and DeepFlicker also have GPU support. Okay, what does that mean? What's GPU support? GPU support means it runs on your graphics card, and as you know, there's, uh, or maybe you don't know, <laughs> G GPUs have you know 1,500, 2,000 right. cores. With, do a lot of processing on them. So you're going to be able to get a lot more response from those plugins. And you've already, I've already asked you, they also have multi-core support or multi-threaded support. Absolutely. So Both on the CPU and the GPU, we run on as many machine, as many things as we can find to run on. Okay. And I was looking through the uh, the list of all the different plugins that you have, and you mentioned a few of them, but one that I was really interested in was Reflex. Yes. Uh, just you know, doing animation stuff. But can you explain Reflex to me a little bit and what it's used for and well, its strength? Absolutely. Reflex is a plugin to do warping and morphing using okay. splot based uh, control, which means you don't have to draw a mesh on it. You can just go to the features you want and pull on them and move them around. Right. And in After Effects, uh, and we actually use the, the, the splines that are already in After Effects. So you don't have to learn a whole new UI. And you might say, well, the day of the morph is dead. I disagree. The day of the seamless morph is still here where you're transitioning maybe from a CG character to a live action character or from, or from one scene to the next right. that aren't, isn't supposed to have a jump cut or a dissolve, you can, you can make it so that they, uh, it transitions very nicely. And the, we're the only morpher on the, on the market that I know of that also uses, after you align a few features, if the, if the, if the images on both sides are close enough, you can hit a button, and we use our automatic tracking technology that we have in Twixter to align the rest of it. That's, oh, that's pretty cool. cool. That's pretty neat. Now, is it kind of like, uh, I'm familiar with the Puppet Tool. How is it different from the Puppet Tool, the way that it morphs? Well, images? the Puppet Tool has a bunch of points that you're moving around. In our, in our plugin, you can actually move whole splines around okay. uh, that, that align to features, say, of the, of the lip or the eye. Much more, more precision. Much more precision, and I believe in it, 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 it doesn't introduce as many um, Artifacts when you start using lots of lots of points in in, in uh, Puppet Tool, and it's also faster. Once if you were to try to try to make as many points as you might have along a spline, yeah. you'll find that the Puppet Tool will probably go a lot slower. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, also uh, I saw Remap, which you know I'm doing a lot more integration with 3D into After Effects, especially with Cineware. Uh, you know that integration. How can I use Remap to really increase my workflow? Yeah, Remap has a bunch of plugins in it, but I, I believe the one that's most useful to the 3D people is uh, there's two that I, out of the five inside of Remap. One is you can render out an image that has uh, instead of the texture on your objects, you can uh, render out a UV map in the form of red and green, red for you, uh, green for for V, and then and then you can replace the texture inside of After Effects in post and do it on the fly and it's very fast and you don't have to go back to your to your CG right. render and wait. Yeah, that really sucks, especially when you're on a tight deadline. Yes. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, where can people find more information about your plugins? And uh, are, do you also, also offer any free trials? We offer free trials, they're watermark demos, use them as long as you like, they draw an X on them. Once okay. you buy them, the X goes away. You don't have to redo your projects. And uh, come to revisioneffects.com, it's our re revision re and the letters F and X. All right, awesome, thanks Pete. All right, thanks thank for your time. You. Appreciate Cheers. it. Thanks to our sponsors for making our NAB coverage possible.